Greetings, Uber Tuberlands and all the ships at sea. We have a mail call. Actually, we have two mail calls. This one came first. <clears throat> this one is from one of my very wonderful mentors and helper and brother from across the pond, Mr. Peter Dunn. And uh, he sent this to me. Ain't that lovely? Don't that nice? This is yet another of the pig stickers that I have. First thing I did was I stuck it in this thumb when I first got it. So I made sure it worked. I probably dulled it a little bit. But I will tell you that it does not care what it cuts. Flesh, bone, paper. Anything it loves to cut. This is this is going to be good. Now I have to say that it may it may spook some people, but I all my life, I've kind of known things. And I can't tell you why or how. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Uh, some things I get an idea about stuff. And it, I don't know if it's a premonition or just something about the wavelength or something. I don't know. The good Lord wants me to know it. And it happens. So I was thinking about this Isle of Man stuff. And I've been studying on it. And uh, I'll be darned if uh, Peter Dunn didn't send me a number plate from Isle of Man. Now go figure that out. That's kind of a coinkadinky that I was thinking about this and reading up about it because it is a neat place, and it's an it's odd to me that it's an it's different from. Uh, some of that places but it is special in its own right and this is a number plate from Isle of Man so he was either thinking about me I know he was and Isle of Man and I was kind of on the same wavelength as he was very kind of spooky but very special of course I love him and he has taught me so much about this stuff here him along with uh, Scott Best, and uh, now I I get to watch uh, my my young man up north, Chef Tush. He uh, he's building a, a, another try a different trial than this, and uh, I'm learning how to patch stuff and and hide my welds. He's he welds and hides, and of course, uh, Jaden Mutley, which is uh, Peter's YouTube name, uh, he's a master. He can take, I don't know, a piece of steel and make it into a piece of art, and it fits, it fits the car, and it's wonderful. So, thank you very much, Mr. Peter. This is great. Uh, First thing I'm going to do is put this in, in my house and love on it a little bit. And uh, it is wonderful. Boy, I bet that there ain't, there ain't nobody else got one of these unless you're in Texas. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful. And then with my second mail call, another of my family members that is over in England, uh, Great Britain, sent me this. This is from Harry Faber. And uh, he mentioned on his, uh, on one of his uh, videos, YouTube videos, that he was going to send this out for a book report. I've got to be really careful. I'm very about my my uh, 
stir. Oh man, this is the book he wanted me to do a book report on. He didn't say who, but I had an inkling of that. What is this book now? Cambridge School Histories, book number two, Britain in Modern Times, Margaret Elliott. This is great. I'll read this cover to cover two or three times. Thank you very much, Mr. Faber. You are so sweet. Holy moly. Look at that. Now I will say that the island, the huge island that Britain is on right now, has been owned and conquered countless times by different people. I mean people from as different from me and aliens or whatever. Very different people, very different societies and stuff. They owned that island and they fought for it and died for it. The island is very valuable. Okay, please find us at the Salvation Army shop in Leon C, which is a great place. Sorry, sorry for that. I read slow. But he's going to pray for America and Americans, those most especially for those who do not support the New England Patriots. That's what we get for having Father Leslie as our priest. Harry Faber. Lovely man. If I had a wish, if my wish would come true, I would be in England right at this moment and I would be hugging the neck on all, hug, hugging their necks and embarrassing them probably uh, because they're just wonderful people. I, I think that's the grandest place to be and I love where I'm at. This is and Arkansas is just as wonderful as any place I've ever been, and more so than most. But uh, even as a little boy, I wanted to go back to the fatherland and uh, be everything and do everything English. Uh, and uh, I'm 57 now, and I'm still in, still in Arkansas, but someday that dream may come true. And... Uh, until then, I got my friends and my adopted family that's over there that's keeping me excited and learning me. That way, I won't make a big Benny Odom if I ever get to be a, to be there. And uh, I'm practicing keeping my fork turned under. You know that you got to use your fork turned under there too. Some of the little things like that. So. Uh, Thank you both very much, Mr. Peter, Mr. Harry Faber. And uh, if y'all don't watch these these boys, uh, Jaden Mutley just, just printed out just like it says. And check on him. He builds some of the most wonderful Vitesses, which is a high-performance model of, of the Herald. Uh, and he ends up having having a uh, hundred point restoration, and he is he is just phenomenal at what he builds and how he does it. And uh, Harry Faber, he is a wonderful, godly man, and uh, you won't never get 
embarrassed or upset watching his stuff. He does uh, stained glass now. He's doing stained glass now. He works on boats. He's a boatman. He works on trains. He's a train man. He does book re reviews, even though he doesn't. And uh, pretty much a wonderful guy. So both these boys are are just uh, a blessing to me, and he will be. They will be to you too. If you you uh, go over there and check on them and, and uh, watch them. You'll instantly fall in love with them because they're they're just that good. Uh, so I'm gonna say sorry not you to you. I've got some reading to do. My hands are not grabbing today, uh, but they'll be good enough. Oh. I want to ask anybody or everybody about bookmarks. Now, you know I'm I'm not a very bright man, and I'm not a very anyway uh, anyway. But I don't use bookmarks. I re just remember the page number. Now I don't I don't think that's that much of a skill. To just remember the page number that you are in that way you don't have that bookmark that you have to put somewhere while all you're reading it and Marianne she reads stuff every day and uh, she's got bookmarks and I've seen people fold over a page fold over a corner which is to me blasphemous I would never fold a corner over on a book not even a magazine that's how weird how uh, respectful I try to be. But uh, how many of you just remember just, just remember the page number? You look at the book, you know what page number you, you stopped at. So uh, uh, that and uh, another thing that I do that I don't know if anybody does, when I have something to, to get up in the morning for, I can always think, you know, 7 o'clock, get up at 7 o'clock, and I'll wake up at 7 o'clock. Or uh, if it's later in the day, I'll say, well, 8.30. i got to get up at 8.30, and I will wake up at 8.30 or, you know, a minute or two before. Uh, I don't think that's a skill. I think that's something that we all can do. And I, as far as I know, I don't know if everybody does it, but I know they can do it. But that's just two of the things I've been thinking about. I want to put this away before. I mean, look at that thing. That is bad. That has only one, only one purpose, and that is to stick my thumb again and to cut my fingers. And I've got tons of better knives, and some of y'all has already given me these tons of better knives. Thank you very much. And uh, that's what I had ended up having out here in the in the garage. So anyway. Thank you both, and I love y'all, and y'all take care of each other, and, uh, you know, don't get in trouble today. Bye.